This is the Vapor three-person marmot tent. As I mentioned before in my other videos, it is pretty much identical to the tungsten. Uh, I believe there are some waterproofing differences. I think it's a 3,000 millimeter fly and 5,000 millimeter floor. It's kind of interesting. And I, it's a beautiful day today. It's actually above freezing, which is great. Uh, when I tried to sleep in here, luckily we're not far from a, our farmhouse, so I spent about three hours in here and it was very cold. It was at least minus 11 Celsius, 24 Fahrenheit, but I think it was even colder. One interesting thing I noticed here was on the inside, because all the material inside is that polyester, polyester taffeta. It doesn't have that uh, mesh everywhere, so you can literally close off everything or open up whatever ventilation you like. And uh, the interesting thing was when it was very windy and the snow was blowing in at times, and it would sit on top here, uh, sort of on the, the roof, I guess, inside on the, the tent itself, from underneath blowing and uh, if that was mesh it would have come in so I'm thinking if you were in a sandy or dirty place uh, that was a lot of wind you could have uh, issues there but I've heard about people with uh, uh, mesh in sandy locations with wind and they come back and there's sand in their tent so this would actually help prevent that so that's an interesting thought and uh, so that kind of closes out this little sort of overview of the uh, the Vapor 3. Now I'm going to take it down and uh, make sure it's dry. And I can't wait for spring and summer camping season to start. There we go. Marmot. Vapor, three-person tent.